I'll do a bit of a tour since the day is nice, what it looks like on the outside. Couldn't do much on the inside in the garage. It's a two-tone, like a brownish tan. Don't really care for it, so I'm going to make it a red car. Did what I could this year. I don't think I'll finish it before the winter starts. I got a few weeks left of just weather like this, and that'll be it. I have to pick up the rest next year. This is Firethorn Red. I use SEM or SEAM vinyl and spray dye. It's good stuff. Got some carpet from a online place that sells remanufactured carpet that just like stamps over the floor. It's got the hills and valleys already stamped into it, so it's easy to fit that way. I used Duplicolor fabric and vinyl dye for the floor mats. It's not really good. Just had one. It's just what I had laying around. I need to reapply some more paint onto that because these were blue at one point. Came off of blue mercury. These type of floor mats are hard to find on eBay, so I got a good deal when I found a parts car on Craigslist. Took them off of that. Got the kick panels off of that mercury. Had to cut it right there because four doors and two doors are 100% the same. It's good enough for now. I'll find the right pieces next year. I got the car a month ago, so I can only do so much in the given time I got left in this year. I ain't gonna do too much to it when it's like December and January, it's like 10 degrees out. It's 45 right now and sunny. This came off like a two-door Ford LTD of some year during the 70s. Couldn't tell much of it. Took a gamble on it. It looked like it would fit, so I took it off. Put in this car and it fit for the most part, so good enough. That's mentality for now. Just like the kick panels, I'll find the appropriate trim piece next year. This is just a temporary thing right now, just to make it look whole. Got the seat belts dyed and everything. Took a whole day just to do all the seats and the and then and the whole day to do the panels. It's a lengthy process. Door handles are shot, so I gotta find another one for this side. Turned out pretty good. Got a dash cover or dash mat off eBay for like 40 bucks. Did that just because I don't have to do so much painting on the dash and it covers all the cracks. Nice burgundy color, in other words, a maroon. Got some overspray in the windshield, but steel, stainless, uh, not stainless, steel wool, triple, triple zero, quadruple zero grade, takes off within seconds. So that's easy. It's an easy fix. So any, any overspray I got. That takes it off. I missed a few spots, but I, I got another can of touch-up paint just to, for these for that reason to pick it all up and cover it all. Still a little bit of a mess from last night working on the gauge, so I got to vacuum out the floor. Some wear and tear. I apply the fabric and vinyl dye when it was like 50 degrees, so I wouldn't be surprised. That's why it's chipping off and cracking so easily. It's meant for a warmer temperature, but I want to take a try at it. I can always go. I can always go on top of it next year with another coat. It's more warmer out, like 70 degrees. Sitting on a farm for three years. Doesn't look too bad. I only had rats living in it, but I got I took care of that. It's not Swiss cheese. So frame's good. Just had some rust holes, but I had them patched over. This door, the pinch weld on the bottom is, you know, gone. So That could be fixed, just have to redo a whole new pinch weld on the tip of it. I'll probably, I'll have a body shop do that, that'll be like probably 200, 300 bucks maybe. The other, the other door is rock solid. This one, that's the worst if it's on the bottom. It's fixable. All the rest on this car is fixable. I use a crap ton of Pure 15 where I could. I used it on the floor under and under it and on this side too, before I put the carpet back on. There's some of it sticking out by the trim. Pure 15 is good stuff. 
for a spray there, but that could be taken off easily. Here's the gauge. If you look at it straight on, it looks pretty good. If this gauge doesn't work out, I got a Stuart Warner one that that looks kind of like this, or at least same vintage. It's pretty old, but it works. It, it, would, it would go with the look of this car as well. I don't like the look of new gauges, I like the vintage looking ones. But that works, so that's a plan B if this one doesn't work out. I'll ride with this one for the time being. Steering wheel looks good for the most part. Yeah, just a simple tool, tour overall, how about it looks out in the open. I can make my own headliner or just buy one from the same place that sold me the carpet for this car. Speaking of carpet, it is good. Not really a fan of it, 100%, meaning I miss the shake that, that cars had back in the 70s. This isn't shaky enough. I mean, yeah, it is stamped, so it fits like a glove. Not that you can do that with carpet you get from a furniture store. You can order it. You just have to cut to fit like a jigsaw puzzle. It's more time involved, but if you don't, if you don't mind putting in the effort, it's worth it. I may just do that next year. Get the same color carpet with more shag. Just cut the fit. It's a project to consider next year. Uh, try to take off some tape. Still a work in progress. Tail pipes on the exhaust, I really like. I don't know if anyone ever called them like this, but I call them uh, cannon tail pipes. They're straight like they come out straight like a cannon. I like that look. So I'm just gonna call them that. Cannon tip tail pipes. Straight from front to back. No mufflers. No calicon. No cali converters. No, nothing. Not a single fucking thing. Eventually paint this like a nice burgundy or maroon color. Some nice dark red to match the interior, obviously. With these wheels set up. I can fill this in as white, so it's solid lettering. They make special paint for tires. I'll buy some of that, and I'll do that next year. I'll apply it. Gives it a more of a sleek muscle car look. Because I like the chrome lug nuts. White lettering on black rims, blacked out stock rims. Gives that sleek look. I like that. And I dress the rest up in here. What to do next year? I can only do so much this year. So when I put this away, when they salt the roads, sit on it for a few months, pull out in the spring, and just have at it again. That's what I'm going to do next year. I have a lot to do for it. Mostly body work and little details. This is the worst side of it. The other side is more clean, as you've seen, but this has got rust in the bottom. Little rust spots here and there. It could be fixed. That's pretty much the tour of it all. It's 19 feet, 0.08 inches long. Biggest car I ever owned.